Right now, Manchester United look like an absolute joke. The situation that's unfolding between Jose Mourinho and Paul Pogba is an embarrassment. And what I want to do in this video is run through the full situation, right from when Paul Pogba rejoined the club in August 2016 to September 2018, where a video has emerged from training after the defeat against Derby, where Pogba and Mourinho, they don't look on the best of terms. I want to explain how this, the relationship between them has developed to the situation that we find ourselves in now. Now let's go back to the very start, August 2016, when Pogba rejoined Manchester United in a world record £89 million move. Pogba said he's really looking forward to working with Jose Mourinho. Jose Mourinho described him as one of the best players in the world and said he'll be a key part of the United team moving forward. Right at the start, it was a fantastic relationship between the two of them. You know, he missed the first couple of games for Manchester United due to suspension, but when he made his debut in the 2-0 win over Southampton, he was fantastic. And Mourinho lauded him. He said, the boy is fantastic. He said he's got a fantastic ego and personality. He can really see him being a major player for Manchester United moving forward. So right at the very beginning, Mourinho and Pogba, smooth sailing. Then look at September 2016. Mourinho's biggest game at that point as Manchester United manager, his first derby against Pep Guardiola, the new Manchester City manager, and Man United get overrun. Mourinho uses the wrong system in midfield, Pogba looks lost, and questions are asked about Pogba's ability to fit into Mourinho's system, because at Juventus he was one of a midfield three, at Manchester United at the start of that season, Mourinho was using a midfield two, and Pogba looked like he didn't have the discipline to operate properly in that midfield two. And that's when questions were asked about how Mourinho would fit Pogba into his system and how Mourinho would get the best out of Paul Pogba. Then you fast forward a couple of months to October 2016 when Pogba plays brilliantly in a 4-1 win over Fenerbahce. And Mourinho, he's praising Pogba left, right and centre. He's saying that first of all, in some of your mouths, he goes from being the worst player in the Premier League to a great player in 48 hours. We know he is a very good player. We know he needs some time to show his potential. Mourinho going after the press, slamming the Einsteins in the press for criticising and hyper-criticising Paul Pogba. Mourinho firmly standing in the defence of Paul Pogba, his player. Then as the season progresses, you look towards January 2017, where Mourinho publicly said that Pogba has the charisma, the ambition, the mentality, and he can be Manchester United's future captain. He has great potential to do that. So Mourinho, for the first time, lauding Pogba as a future captain for Manchester United. He's really been impressed by what he's seen at the start of his first year back at the club. But it doesn't stop the press from continuing to criticise Paul Pogba. And that also doesn't stop Mourinho from defending his world record signing. He said, he, I think he has phenomenal conditions, but I think the scrutiny on him is hard and is difficult. That's the price of being who he is and also the price of his price. Now Mourinho goes on to say that the 89 million pay for Paul Pogba will go on to be made to look cheap in future transfer windows. As I said, still firmly standing in the corner of Paul Pogba and just punching away at the press, defending his player to the hilt. And that continues, you know, at Chelsea when Manchester United lost in March in the FA Cup, Mourinho continued to praise Paul Pogba. He said that it probably comes from envy, but for me, Paul Pogba was the best player on the pitch. He was a giant on the pitch. While everybody's criticising Paul Pogba in the press, Mourinho is defending his man. And then if you look at United at the end of that season, Manchester United won the Europa League, first time we won it. Manchester United have won the League Cup. Paul Pogba is buzzing about his first year back at Manchester United. And he reserves special praise for Jose Mourinho himself. He says, personally, he has welcomed me. We had a talk and I had a good feeling from the first moment on. He trusted and defended me. That's all a player needs. So at the end of his first year at Manchester United, Mourinho has defended Pogba against the fierce criticism he's got in the press. Pogba's reciprocated that by saying, that Mourinho deserves the accolade of being called the special one. The relationship between the two at the end of that first year, nothing wrong with it. Now look at the start of the second year. Early on in the season, Paul Pogba suffers a hamstring injury and he travels to Miami to get the hamstring injury looked at. But reports in the press suggest that Mourinho is frustrated with Paul Pogba and the fact that he didn't stay in Manchester. Now this is just the press continuing to create a narrative between Mourinho and Pogba that as far as we know at this point, doesn't 
actually exist. And if you fast forward to November 2017, when Pogba comes back from his injury in United's 4-1 win over Newcastle, Mourinho lay labels him as a different class of player. So as, again, it's still at this stage, Mourinho defending his player, enjoying what he's seeing. Yes, Pogba has been playing brilliantly week in, week out for Manchester United, but Mourinho is continuing to nurture him. Then if you look at January 2018, maybe this is where we saw the first signs of something going on between the two. Uh, Mourinho took Pogba off in Man United's defeat away at Wembley to Tottenham Hotspur, took him off after about an hour, and they were on the sidelines, they were having maybe a heated discussion with each other. Then you saw the Huddersfield game that was soon after. Pogba was left on the bench for that game as well. Questions were asked about Paul Pogba. But Mourinho at that point still standing in his corner. So the player when he is starting the game has a different kind of preparation for it. And it's easier to be on the bench and to come on without warming up and get into the pace is not easy. I think he had a very positive game for us. But then you fast forward to March 2018 and further reports from the Sun suggest that Pogba and Mourinho are barely talking, that their relationship is so distant that Rui Faria is the middleman, our then assistant manager, between Pogba and Mourinho having any sort of relationship. I mean, reports that Pogba could be sold in the summer. Now, again, this is just, a, at this point, 95% the press, and that's where the narrative is coming from at this point with Pogba and Mourinho. And then you look at what Paul Pogba did during the summer of 2018. He won the World Cup with France. He was outstanding for Didier Deschamps' team in a disciplined role alongside N'Golo Kante. Brilliant for France, scored in the World Cup final. Fantastic summer for Pogba. Then reports from the Times suggested that Pogba is angry with Mourinho's comments about Pogba during the tournament. Mourinho claimed that the short nature of the tournament would ensure that Pogba would not get distracted by any external matters and that frustrated Paul Pogba. But if you look at the start of the season for Manchester United this year, Paul Pogba, he returned from his holiday early. Manchester United had a really dismal pre-season. Mourinho didn't look very happy. We didn't have a good transfer window either. And at this, when we're looking to get the Leicester game, we didn't know who was going to play. But Pogba came back early. I think he only had one day's training. He came back. He was wearing a captain's armband against Leicester. And he put in a captain's performance with a... Very good penalty, questionable run-up, but a captain's performance overall. And Mourinho lauded him. Mourinho said he was an absolute beast for coming back and doing what he did with that sort of performance. But after that game, Pogba himself fueled the fire for the first time in public. Afterwards, he said that he would always give his best for those that trust him. But it was his point where he said, look, I can't really say effectively what I want to say at risk of being fined. And it was at that point where we all started to go, hey, maybe there really is something going on between Paul Pogba and Jose Mourinho. It's the first evidence that we've had of Paul Pogba coming out in public and speaking about it. And that's when the questions really started to be asked at the start of the third season. Now, obviously, those comments were taken as Paul Pogba angling for a transfer, for a move away from Manchester United, with further reports in the press that his relationship with Jose Mourinho had hit an all-time low. Now that led to Manchester United themselves briefing the press saying that it was absolutely bullshit and that the club were angry and incensed by the stories that they described as absolute nonsense. And then Jose Mourinho himself talked about his relationship with Pogba. He said, I've never been so happy with Pogba as I am now. I couldn't be happier and I have to say, I'm not saying it for me, I'm saying it for him, that it is totally untrue that we had a problem during the week. Now let's fast forward to September 2018 and what we've seen unfurl in the last few weeks. Now the main point of focus for a lot of the press has been Pogba's comments after Man United's one all draw with Wolves, where Pogba said that Manchester United need to attack, attack, attack at home against teams. That's when teams are scared of playing Manchester United, obviously seen as an indirect snipe towards Jose Mourinho's more pragmatic style of play. That was considered by the press as evidence that Paul Pogba is completely unhappy at Manchester United under Jose Mourinho and that he does indeed want a move away. And then we fast forward a couple of days to the Derby game. Paul Pogba's left out of the squad, but so is David De Gea, so is Luke Shaw. It's a League Cup game, a few players arrested. That's irrelevant. But it was the reports that emerged on the night of Manchester United playing Derby that Paul Pogba had been stripped of his vice-captaincy by Jose Mourinho and in front of the rest of the squad, told that he will never captain Manchester United again 
and that he questioned his attitude, that's when the stories really, really started to hit hyperdrive. And that's when fans really started to question what the fuck is going on right now at Manchester United. Speaking after the game, Mourinho confirmed that he had indeed stripped Paul Pogba of his vice captaincy role at the club, but he simply said, I'm the person who gave it to Paul Pogba. I'm the person who can take it away from him. Denying that there was any sort of rift between the two, but confirming that he had indeed taken the decision to take the captaincy, the vice captaincy, sorry, away from Paul Pogba. And then this video emerged the day after Manchester United's defeat to Derby. Paul Pogba back in training ahead of the West Ham game this weekend. And it's frosty as fuck between Mourinho and Pogba. Anybody can see that. Don't know what Mourinho says. It doesn't really matter. But this is the fucking situation that Man United find themselves in right now. It's an absolute mess. And for what it's worth, I think both Mourinho and Pogba are at fault here. I think Pogba is going about this the wrong way in terms of saying that he can't say what he wants to say or he'll be fine. He doesn't need to say that to the press. He's fueling the fire. He's got Mina Raiola as his agent. He knows exactly what is going to happen in the PR move of saying that in public. He's completely right in what he's saying, that Man United should be attacking, attacking, attacking. But to say it and to undermine Jose Mourinho forces Manchester United fans into a decision between player or manager. No United fan should be forced into that situation, but that is the situation we find ourselves in. And if you imagine that Jose Mourinho had extended the olive branch to Pogba by giving him the captaincy, if at the start of the third season there really was an, an irreversible tear in their relationship, Mourinho would not have given Pogba that armband. But what Pogba has done since has clearly incensed Mourinho so much that he's reversed his decision and he's disagreed with how Pogba has acted. And I think Pogba has acted wrong. I don't think what he's saying is wrong. I just don't agree with the way he's gone about it to force, as I said, United fans into this situation where we've got to choose between a manager and a player. We shouldn't be having to do that. And if you're looking at Manchester United over the years and whether we chose between a manager and a player, the manager won every fucking time. Yes, it was Fergie, but Stan, Keane, Van Nistelrooy, Beckham, so many stars went out the door. But United carried on under the manager with the support of all the players. The one player that didn't work out with was Rooney because Fergie backtracked on that. And I think that was one of the biggest mistakes that Fergie made. I've made that abundantly clear. That didn't work out for United. But it, if you're looking at the United way and the way we've operated as a club, we've always been manager and the power with the manager first. Pogba undermining Mourinho with his comments to the press has made it an almost uh, irreversible situation now where Man United as a club have to choose between Paul Pogba and Jose Mourinho. And in that sense, there's only one winner. And that's Paul Pogba, because of how much he's worth to the club as an asset. Man United, as a club, don't give a fuck about the results on the pitch anymore. You know, we've made record amounts of profit. We've got more social media followers than the NFL get in there. That's the real importance. It's not the importance, but it's what matters to Man United as a club. It's a business first and a football club second. And it's a big reason we find ourselves in the shitstorm we're in at the moment. But this situation now between Pogba and Mourinho it seems to be getting to the point, arguably has already passed that point, where it's too far for both men to remain next season. And I don't think Pogba and Mourinho will be here next year. And if I'm a betting man, I would bet on Pogba to be here over Mourinho because of how Manchester United operate as a football club. What's more important to them is not always necessarily what's more important to the fans. But I want to know what your take on this whole situation is. Pogba or Mourinho? Should we have to choose between both? And if you are choosing, whose side are you choosing? It's not a situation any football fan should ever be forced into, but it's a situation where United fans find themselves stuck between a rock and a hard place. We shouldn't be getting rid of another manager midway through a fucking season. It's not going to help the club. But we've got a player here who is trying to exert player power and undermine the manager. Who do you choose? Who's right? Who's fucking wrong? It's a... Really bad, messy situation. I don't really see it being a non-messy solution either. But I want to know from you, now that you know the full story of how it's developed over time between the relationship between the pair, what is your take on this whole Pogba and Mourinho mess that's unfolding?